Hey everyone, this is Yan with another Remote Desktop Manager Pro Tip. In our last video, we took a look at the temporary access feature in Remote Desktop Manager. In this video, I wanted to do the same thing, but take it a little step further using Password Hub Business. Now, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that one out first uh, to kind of see the context of what we were talking about. So even though this is more of a Password Hub pro tip, which uh, could lead us to a series coming soon, maybe, hmm, maybe an idea. Um, I thought it would still be appropriate for RDM Pro users. So let's log in as Kelly into Password Hub Business. So today, uh, Kelly wants to access this uh, Telemark DC1. So notice here, if I go down to her permissions, uh, obviously she only, she can view the entry. She doesn't have access to execute or change anything in this entry at all. What she's gonna do here is go here and click on temporary access. And then she's gonna select how long she thinks she needs, so maybe one day. Now this is where with Password Hub, it gets a little interesting. Notice here that she can actually select which permission level she desires, reader, operator, contributor. Now, if you're not sure what those mean, you can click on the little icon here, <laughs> a little dad joke. But uh, in reader, she can view the entry, but she doesn't have access to do any of these other features. For example, if she selects operator, then she can actually execute the entry, which is you know running the RDP session using Remote Desktop Manager. But here she can even elevate it to contributor. And what contributor gives her full access so she can actually edit the entry, something that we weren't able to do in a remote desktop manager in our last video. So she's gonna say, I wanna do contributor because she wants to maybe go in there and edit some information. And she'll click, uh, she'll select which admin, which is Bob. And then once again, classic message, she's gonna say, need to update server, and this time edit some settings. So she's gonna send the request over to Bob. What's also unique with Password Hub is the email notification settings, which means that Bob will actually get an email with the temporary access request. So that's really cool. So if he clicks on the email, it'll take him to the appropriate entry here, uh, where it shows the temporary access request, as well as obviously if you're in the vault itself, uh, there's this new little temporary access window that shows the entry itself. So let's go to that entry and then he can say uh, view details. So Kelly says need to update server and edit some settings and he'll say sure thing. Now, if he thinks this, uh, it, this contributes too much access, he could uh, refuse that access and tell her, uh, I think contributes too much. Can you do this with operator alone? And then she can send another request. Okay, so he'll say approve. If we refresh it, we can see that here it has been approved. So she can click on open in RDM the session will now load uh, as desired. So she can go ahead and do the work she needs to do. So that's what the temporary access functionality looks like when you're using Remote Desktop Manager along with Password Hub Business. So the functionality there is very much the same except for the elevated permission levels that you can request in Password Hub Business as it is in Remote Desktop Manager. But wait, there's more. So in Password Hub Business, there's something uh, else that you can do, which I thought would be really cool to show you here today. So let's go back into Kelly's account. And in here, Kelly has this uh, company credit card that she needs to uh, access the credit card number. Now notice here, um, she doesn't have access to this special sensitive um, information permission here. So she can't see the card number or the CVC number at all. So now we have an issue. So she wants to access this. Well, in Password Hub, she can. Okay, so you can click on this little more button and do temporary access request. And once again, she can say, oh, I need to um, access the credit card for 30 minutes. And then she could say, what does she want? Reader is what she currently has, but she can say, I need operator access, which will give her the view sensitive information um, option as well. So she can select her admin, which is Bob and say, need to make some departmental purchases, please, while Phil is away. So she wants to be able to see the credit card number, uh, but she doesn't need to go in and edit the entry. So she doesn't need contributor status. So here we can say send requests, bloop. And then now, of course, Bob will get an email or uh, he will see the request here as well. Or he'll also see this second request pop up here and he can click on it or click on the entry itself and then uh, view the details, sure, approve or deny. You'll notice here that now she has the reveal sensitive. So if we click on it, ooh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Uh, so that's our credit card number for that. Uh, and she can actually go in and use it. What's cool is if we go in remote desktop manager, you'll notice here that she also has that permission level enabled. So she can copy the credit card number and st so forth. But the request for this was all done in Password Hub Business. So, kind of gives you the flexibility to either use Remote Desktop Manager or Password Hub Business, but it's a 
functionality that has now uh, been added in Password Hub Business, which really gives you kind of an edge, especially for this kind of workflow. So like I said, even though this is more of a Password Hub pro tip, I think for RDM users, it's very useful because let's be honest, not everybody on our team may be using Remote Desktop Manager. It's mainly designed for IT pros and sysadmins, but a person like Kelly, who may not necessarily need to use Remote Desktop Manager every day, she can use a lot of those similar functionalities in Password Hub Business. And Bob, since he has both, he can take advantage of the toolbox functionality of Remote Desktop Manager, as well as the simple ease of use of Password Hub Business, especially for his business-related users. So if you like this video, make sure you comment below, and either I or one of our amazing team members will be more than happy to answer your question. And be sure to like and subscribe as well. That lets me know that you want more more of this type of content so that we keep digging and finding those little nuggets to help you better use the tools that we provide. All right, thanks again and have a wonderful rest of your day.